Hi family, welcome to the Car Pathway of Picking. Before we get started on this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'd never miss a single video. Hello everyone, welcome to the Car Pathway of Cooking. My name is Alicia and tonight I am cooking pork cutlets. And this is what it looks like and they have been cubed and I have already seasoned them. And I seasoned them with garlic powder, all-purpose seasoning, and some black pepper. So I already have my pot, my frying pan heated up. And I'm, I'm using self-rising flour. This is one easy meal, family. One easy meal. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a marvelous day. This is one quick meal that I'm preparing for Hubby and I. And I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. And right here, I have some corn. This is just canned corn. And um, I put butter and black pepper in it. And I'm just going to let it cook for a few minutes. I'm not going to cook the mashed potato on, on video because I have a video um, where I have prepared mashed potatoes. I think last week it's with the braised chicken. It's on the braised chicken video. So if you like, take a look at it and follow my directions there. But anyways, um, I need to get the potatoes going and I will be right back. They're mashed, I have a question. You said they're mashed potato, but you're actually gonna peel the whole potatoes and yeah. oh okay. I've peeled them and I've um cut them up and I'm gonna boil them. Okay. And once they're boiled, I'm going to drain the water off of them. I'm going to use butter sour cream and milk and black pepper and I'm going to use my masher and mash them up simple and I figured they don't want to see this yeah because I'm thinking when I again. when I think of mashed potato I think about people like to go buy them at the box and you let them know that you're actually making them from the whole potato oh no these are just regular bacon potatoes that we use today before I used the um, russet potatoes, but I'm using what I have today. Anyway, family, I'm gonna let this cook. I'm gonna let it brown a little bit, and we will be right back. Right, family, we are back. It really doesn't take these cutlets long to cook. Maybe about three minutes on each side. I'm just going to brown them because. I forgot to tell you what I'm going to do is make some brown gravy. And I'm going to smother the cutlets in brown gravy. Just wanted to show you what it looks like so far. It doesn't take long to cook because I don't want it to be overcooked where it'll be tough. And um, we'll be right back. family we are back I have fried the pork cutlets and I need to brown my onion I have onion here just a little bit what I'm doing is getting ready to make some brown gravy okay and if you do not eat pork Use chicken instead, okay? You don't necessarily have to use pork. This is what we're eating today for dinner. And if you hear some rumbling in the back, 
This is my um, potatoes boiling. I'm just going to brown this onion just a little bit. This is an easy dish, family. What are you cooking tonight? Put in the comments what you're cooking tonight or what's your favorite weeknight meal. Okay. At this point, I'm going to put some flour, the same flour that I um, put on my cutlets. It's unseasoned. Sometimes I use a seasoning pack, but I'm not doing that today. Let's see. That's about three tablespoons. And what I want to do is just cook this flour down to get that flour taste. Uh, we don't want the flour taste. Okay? This is like a roux. And we like dark brown gravy. And what I'm going to do is add some black pepper to the gravy. Just a little seasoning salt. If I can find it. Okay, I got it. Just a little seasoning salt, not much because I seasoned the meat already. And I do want to um, let you know if you use all purpose seasoning, the salt content is kind of high, but it's really good. I don't use as much um, all purpose seasoning because of the salt content. All right, let me add some water to this. This gravy, a little brown. Where it's dark brown, a little smoky. But this is how I make my brown gravy. And I've used about two and a half cups of water. Okay. And it, it should thicken up in a few minutes. I'm just gonna keep stirring it. And I do like my onions a little brown. To me, that gives it more flavor. And I wanna welcome the new ones. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you so much. Continue to watch and support the channel. And my family members that been with me, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Everyone, give me a thumbs up. Thumb up, okay? Go ahead and do it now. That way you won't forget. Really do appreciate it. Turn this down a little bit. This gravy is looking good, y'all. It's looking good. I'm going to let it continue to thicken. I'm gonna go ahead on and put my pork 
cutlets in here. These are really thin pork cutlets. All right. Just gonna bring your eye down to the simmer. Let these simmer in this this delicious gravy I got here. All right, and we will be back. All right, family, I had a change of plan. I decided, you know, the new ones, um, just to show you how I mashed my potatoes up. To do the mashed potatoes, all I did was drain the potatoes and added some butter. It's simple. And I cooked the potatoes with, um, instead of salt, I used chicken powder, which I'm almost out. So I'm gonna add the rest of this to the potatoes. But um, I turned this eye off on the stove that way the potatoes don't splash all over me. To be on the safe side. And I just have a potato masher. And I like lumps in my potatoes. You can use any potatoes that you like. Sorry about that noise. All right, and what I like to add to my potatoes is a little bit of sour cream. This is optional. So that's not a little bit. Some black pepper. This is the way I like mine. I left a little water, just a little bit. In the, in the potatoes, these are not stiff, so I'm not going to add milk this time. If you want to add milk, go ahead, just a little bit, if your potatoes are stiff. These are not stiff, so I'm not adding milk. I have milk just in case, but I don't need it. And this is it. You can also use a hand mixer for your potatoes, but I don't need to. All right, so we have our mashed potatoes. The pork cutlets and gravy. And I have some corn. So what I want to do is plate it up because my dinner is done. And I cooked this dinner in under 30 minutes. So let me plate it up and I'll be right back. All right, family, we are back. This is our dinner. We have pork cutlet um, with gravy, mashed potatoes, and I've added a little gravy on top. That's the way we like it. And some corn. It just canned corn and I added butter and black pepper to the corn. This is our dinner. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is just a quick weeknight meal. And um, share the videos. And if you're new, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload another video. We love you. 
We really do appreciate your support. Don't forget to thumb up this video. Give me a like, even if you don't like it. Give me a like anyways. <laughs> and always stay humble and kind. And you all be safe out there. And we will see you in the next video.